good? And all the time? How many are happy to be in this place? Glory be to God. You may be seated, just be seated. Before I begin, allow me to thank our spiritual father, Reverend Aaron Simkonda, his executive, and all the leaders of St. Matthew's for giving me this opportunity to stand before you and minister the word of God. And also to each one of us who is seated here today. Say, you're looking good. Hallelujah. And thank you so much for allowing me to stand before you this morning. And of course, it is a special day, a unique day that the Lord has given us that we may be glad and worship Him. Hallelujah. Indeed, weeping may come at night, but joy comes in the morning. So each morning is a chance for us to be glad. Each morning is a chance for us to rejoice and worship our God. For He is who He is. The I am that I am. Hallelujah. Let us pray. If you illuminate our hearts, dear God, that the words spoken and the words heard be yours through Jesus, our, the, our Lord and our Redeemer. Amen. Today I want us to look at a theme that I've titled The Joy of Giving. The Joy of Giving. Just turn to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, The Joy of Giving. Hallelujah. So the word joy, according to the dictionary, can be defined as a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. A feeling of great pleasure and happiness. Whereas giving simply means disposing of property by voluntary transfer without receiving value in return. Atukupela angulo kulekilako if intefe tu akwata. Hallelujah. Muku fwaya, muku ifwaila, voluntarily, without expecting to receive something in return. Let me remind you, children of God, that in this journey of life, many of us Christians, and of course non-Christians, when we give something to someone, we are always expecting to receive something in return. Hallelujah. What comes into our mind, or there's something always that comes into our mind that we also need to receive something. We are expecting that also us will receive something in return. But today I want us to focus much on giving selflessly, giving without expecting value in return. Ukupela fie wapela because you, you are willing to give, because you want to give, not because you want to receive back. Hallelujah. The joy of giving. So, the book of Philippians or the episode of Philippians is a reply of Paul, which was writing to the Philippian church after many concerns were written to him while he was in prison. Hallelujah. Paul, while in prison, the Philippians wrote to him, giving him information of how the Philippian church or the people in Philippi were living at that particular time. Because many times Paul would want to hear from the church which he planted in Philip of how they were living, how they were faring with life, and how they were growing spiritually 
as Christians. Hallelujah. So Paul writes back to this church and begins to show his appreciation, begin to encourage them and begin to testify of the things that he had seen and the things he had heard. Just turn to your neighbor and ask them this question. Say, neighbor, have you discovered the joy of giving? Say, neighbor, have you discovered the joy of giving? Glory be to God. So today, as we discover the joy of giving, as we try to explore on what things makes us to be joyful as Christians. Of course, there are a number of things that make us to be joyful in this journey of life. There are a lot of things that make us to be happy. There are a lot of things that bring joy to our hearts each and every day that comes by. One of it is money. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are always joy. We are always joyful when we receive money in this journey of life. But one thing that gives pain to a, to a Christian, especially a human being, it's like a burden. It's like a moment of grief to them. But not somewhere. But today we are saying, as you are giving, you need to give with a joyful heart. Giving with a heart of willingness. Not giving because you've been forced, not giving because you've been taught to give, but giving because you are willing to do so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let us explore. In what ways can we, or can giving make us joyful? In what ways can giving bring joy to our hearts? In what ways can giving make us a joyful person? Number one is that giving revives our concern. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, giving revives our concern. That's point number one. Hallelujah. Now, the word, if you read verse 10 of Philippians chapter 4, the word renewed pictures out something that was dead and now coming to life. Hallelujah. The word sometimes may be translated as, as revived. Are we together? Hallelujah. So the word renewed sometimes may be translated as revived. It can also pictures a tree that has been barren in winter, but when spring comes, it, the plant begins to blossom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Christians in Philip, Philippian, the Philippian Christians had been barren in expressing their concerns for Paul. But now with the gift of money they sent to him, they were blossoming. Hallelujah. I knew their concerns were being revived. Their concerns were being renewed. Their concerns were being brought back to life. Hallelujah. So giving was saying it revives or it renews our concerns for others. It renews our concerns as Christians. Now a concern we can say that being uh, involved in something or being having a mind of, of, of uh, responsibility towards others. Hallelujah. You can agree with me that you can never give to something that you are not concerned in. You cannot give to somebody whom you are not even concerned about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So giving comes with love. Giving comes with concerns. When you begin to be concerned about something, you, you are concerned and you give and support that person, that something that comes your way. For example, the church, we may have projects 
We may have assignments that you need to accomplish as a church. But as long as we do not have concerns about it, we cannot give. Hallelujah. Area somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Where we say, let's give. Papti, kwa nefia mpia tuefu as a church. Chao kwe na kukapitamu. Hallelujah. Papti valete fia eko. Kukapitamu. Kulandama shiwi nama shiwi. But we are saying that each time we give as a Christians, we are reviving our concerns. It is saying that we are showing concern to the will of God. We are showing concern to the, to, the, to the projects that we may have as a church, that we may have as individuals. We are reviving our concerns. Hallelujah. So, even as we prepare for the fundraising coming next week, I want us to, be, to, 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 to know and uh, to be aware that giving will always revive our conscience. It will always revive us, us, us our conscience in this journey of life. Hallelujah. We begin to be concerned about other people. We begin to be concerned about the affairs of the church. I gave this an illustration that a rich man once went to see a counselor. Hallelujah. He went to seek for help from a counselor. So when he reached there, the counselor told him to stand in front of the window. Hallelujah. So he told him, look around, what do you see? He said, I'm seeing people outside moving up and down with different agendas. Hallelujah. Then he said, you've seen well. He took him again, made him to stand in front of a big mirror. Then he was asked, what do you see? He said, I'm seeing the image of myself. I'm seeing my, myself. Hallelujah. Then he said, you are seeing well. By the same mirror, the same glass, the window that you were looking into, seeing other people struggling, seeing people with different agendas, is the same one that I've made you stand on, but this time there is an addition of the silver material. Therefore, you begin to, re to see a reflection of yourself. So what I'm trying to say, parents, is that each time you give, we begin, we need to know that our concerns are being renewed and we need to see ourselves through other people. You don't say that we don't have to give at Pantu Avala and Awe. We don't have to give at Pantu Avala and Awe. life Awe. We don't have to give because we are seeing that they are in need. No, but you need to see yourself in them. Hallelujah. So each time you give children of God, we need to give knowing that God will renew our conscience, knowing that God is going to renew our conscience in every area of life. So we need to see ourselves in the people that we are giving. We need to see ourselves doing the project that the church has taken. Hallelujah. It takes only one man to build a very big mansion. But a lot of people to build just a church, a small church. Why is it like that? Hallelujah. Consens. Having our hearts being renewed or revived to show consen over the same things or the same people that we are giving to and the projects that we are funding. Hallelujah. Number two, giving teaches us to be content. Hallelujah. Just your neighbor, neighbor. Are you content with what you have? Hallelujah. So giving teaches us contentment. Paul did not want the church to think that his joy rested on whether he had money. No. Paul schooled himself. He taught himself to be satisfied with whatever he had. He had joy in the life, not because of his purse full of money, no, but because he had learned con contentment. He had learned to be content. Hallelujah. According to the Greeks, they translated this word, contentment simply means self-sufficient. To be self-sufficient. Appreciating God for what you have. You are content of what you have. Paul believed that whether 
he moved naked or he was clothed whether he was hungry or filled rich or poor if you had the Lord in your life you have everything you need hallelujah so we need to give because giving teaches us to be content hallelujah all of us here are encouraged that we need to be content mayo the, the reason why people do not give is because they are not content of what we have but i've come to encourage you children of god that it is when you have begun to learn to be content with what we have that you are able to give mayo na mukupela mwali bensansa mukupela mwali ba mapalo pantule sangala nde chintu ni chinala nda but your life can never move from one step to one level to another as long as you are not content with what you have. Paul says that I've learned uh, to, 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 I've known how it is to, to sleep on an empty stomach. I've known, what it, I've known how it feels to be filled up. I've known what it feels to be in pain. I've known how it feels to be happy. Therefore, I am content. Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My own say that we are taught Tela lesa, but you know no how to para na fiena. Lesa la pangen shila. He begins to lift you from one level to another. Alambo kumimia, but I pray that you will understand. Because you are content of what He has done in your life. Alambo kumisumbula, abasula bakasula, abakulanda kavalande. Because God has lifted you, you are being content of what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Bombe ni fye mayo ngakubomba pele ni fye mayo ngakupela but as long as you are not content if you feel a shupa life feel a shupa fye but I've come to announce to somebody today that as long as you are content tamwa kabulishe awe pele sakala pange nshila apa shabe nshila he will bless with a good measure pressed down together shaken together overflowing pantu nile samayo wala fye you have pantu nile satata upange nshila apashava always giving my own who teach us to be content as long as you are still holding on you are not creating room for new blessings you are not creating rooms you are not creating room for promotion but to new blessings in your life praise Sanikenu lubu tolwenu Muluendo luandi pano chalo Ine munji kate Munji kate Munji kate Kuti nipone na mukweshiwa Pantu your content mayo Elu mambo kwe valesa Mwele sanse sheni Tuale ni pambi Elu mayo le sanga aikila Tapalu inga chingirisha Le sanga alanda Tapalu inga landulula Le sanga amimia Tapalu inga mwibesha panshe Because he's a God of miracles He's a God of wonders His name is I am that I am Le sashimu itu my own God appears in your matter. It doesn't matter by Abale Mimina. It doesn't matter if you are Kalanda because you are learned to be content. Elamule Pela, Le Sambo Kupangen Shira, Le Salambo Kumimia, Le Salambo Quisule Fibi, Le Salamba Ukulenge Palo, the Aten Temuka. And one thing that I know about this God, He's a God who does not consult man. Paku mi para imwe. Ime ma yata ata. Le sanga refo ku mi para. Te pusha ba na be na kantu awe. Pantu ali shiba. Ngabe pusha. Bakalanda timwe resa. Bariye barenga ba na bandi be sambirira. Bariye barenga fintu fire nkoselefi. Bariye barenga fibefi. Bata tente mukafye mayo. Ngakwa yo ku tente muka. Child of God, I've come to encourage you that as long as you are content with the things that God has given you, you will see the glory of God in your life. You will see the glory of God 
in your family. You will see the glory of God in your education. You will see the glory of God mubana benu. Mukamono obukate bwako alesa. Pantu namusambirira ukutotera mutu nono. Pantu namusambirira ukutotera mutu mwako ata because he's a God of wonders. Giving will always teach us to be content. Ukupera mayo kukatwafwa nokutusambirisha ukutotera mufyo twako ata. As I conclude, conclude child, children of God, I want to encourage you that giving glow, grows our faith in God. Hallelujah. Ukupela kula lenge sulo e subira Yesu. Yakula. Ichetekelo cheso. Chakula. Hallelujah. Giving grows our faith. Ilionzinga mwapela mayo. Imonfwen. When you give, it is a stem feather. To, the, to, to, to our faith being, be, being revived. Hallelujah. Because Paul and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But Hallelujah. Child of God, I've come to speak to you and speak a voice of prophecy in your life. That like any resa, a pangen shira, a pasha ben shira, e omule pera, like any chetekero cheno, chibecha seshiwa, like any resa, a mi pangen shira mayo. Ataba misuri de, like any wakami mone, e komukala yano kunwa. May the Lord prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Pantu resa nganala nda, tapalu inga chingirira. Resa nga ase asa atente muka. Mayoni shara tente muka ne palo liyakwe. Tatara tente muka ne palo liyakwe. May the Lord bless you, said Matthew. Even as I draw, as you go back to my seat, I want to encourage you that yon senga to repera. It is not just giving because not to kwata awe, but because we are content of what God has done for us. But because we know that Teresa are to pala beyond measure. Pantulesa are to sesha. Umwe umwa kwa tamayo. Umwe umwa kwa tatata. Nikuluse lwa kwa lesa. Umwe nenga afwa ya. Kutasti ni kafika bata ntuashi matuafwa. But not always that we live for God. Not always that is a God of chances. He's a God of wonders. He's a God who opens the door for us. Sometimes my oh, mukupela kula lenge pibi pimo tiambo kuisuka. Hallelujah. Sometimes kuti muari muari na kamuari pepa amakufia yamba no kukaripa muari funga mayo na mara muari bero kikaro kwa bulensala. But if you need to feel change, you need to ask yourself a question. Mwele sa finishi filelenga. Sometimes lesa tarefwa e pepo awe tarefwa tio kupela kama apela no buri wambo kuwambo wa kuwa lesa wambo kumiluila. Certain battles mayo if you are kumupashi tatuwa ishiba. If we try to live by my pen, it won't say to lay in the sun your feet. That we should feel good with that. But through giving, battles are won. Victory is sure because He's a God who says, "I will fight all your battles." All you need is to be still. But take you back to still hour. Quick, I don't go pela. I finish in Kwabaranda. Help the poor. Help the less privileged. Help the orphans. Help the widows. And support the projects of the church. And I'm coming to follow the Akwalesa. Umuya ya ya. No muya ya ya. The Lord bless you all. Amen.